How's it going guys? So we have a molecular bio question for step one. I'm going to tell you exactly what you need to know without the superfluous garbage, okay? Thyroid hormone. Which of these answers has a similar binding? Correct answer, vitamin A. This is what I want you to memorize. Vitamin A, vitamin D, thyroid hormone. Those three, they bind to intranuclear receptors, okay? They're lipophilic. They pass through the cell membrane, no problem. Move through the cytosol, pass through the nuclear membrane, no problem. They bind to their receptors sitting on the DNA. These are called response elements, and they are in a heterodimer formation with retinoic acid receptor on the DNA. Retinoic acid receptor is not limited to binding vitamin A. So you got retinoic acid receptor sitting on the DNA. It is associated as a heterodimer with vitamin A receptor, vitamin D receptor, thyroid hormone receptor as heterodimers. You get upregulation of gene transcription. This is what they want you to know for starters, okay? If you think it's nitpicky, take it up the NVMe, not with me. There's three other points I want you to know. The second, the vast majority of steroid hormones bind to intracytosolic receptors, testosterone, progesterone, cortisol, aldosterone, intracytosolic receptors. Okay. Your third point, estrogen, a steroid hormone, it's the odd one out. It mostly binds to nuclear receptors. Okay, and then your fourth point, all other hormones you could pretty much think of, prolactin, growth hormone, insulin, TSH, ACTH, LH, FSH, they're peptide hormones. They bind to cell membrane receptors. So this is what's going to go down. They might tell you a researcher is studying a hormone and it's observed it binds to a cell membrane binding site. And they say, which of the following hormones does this represent? And you're like, I've got no fucking idea. But you look at the answers, you'll notice four of them are steroid hormones. And maybe the fifth one, the odd one out is prolactin or growth hormone or ACTH. It's not a steroid hormone. So even if you don't know the binding, you say, well, it's clearly the odd one out. I'm going to go with that one. Or you know that peptide hormones bind to cell membrane receptors. I want you to know that insulin binds to a tyrosine kinase. And tyrosine kinases, they dimerize before translocation to the nucleus. You need to know that. Insulin is going to upregulate tyrosine kinase activity directly, upregulate serine threonine kinase activity indirectly, and it's going to decrease ubiquitin mediated proteolysis because insulin is a fed state hormone not fasting state so this is your take home your recapitulation for this family. vitamin a vitamin d thyroid hormone those three they bind to intranuclear receptors via zinc finger motifs and upregulate dna transcription your second point steroid hormones bind to intracytosolic receptors i yield your third point, estrogen, although a steroid hormone, predominantly binds to intranuclear receptors. Your fourth point, peptide hormones, all other hormones, they bind to cell membrane receptors. You know the deal. I'm going to see you make more content. Appreciate your time. That's it.